I said you will see me. Don't worry. Don't beg too much. I'll be outside. I'll be outside. Relax. The sun is out. The sun is made for me. I'm made for the sun. Hello, everybody. Hey, Say it's me, fam. Oh, well. Let's be serious. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, this guys, let's get into what we have to say. Let's talk today. I am going to be talking about expectations. It's not expectations we have for ourselves. I'm talking about it's expectations other people have for other people, and a lot of the times for people of the opposite gender. And when I say expectations, I ain't talking emotional stuff. It is too hot to be talking about emotions. No, I'm talking about materialistic stuff. That is where my mind is at. The one that requires ego. The one that requires the paper. The coins, you understand? Even though not really coins, but more or less notes. I feel like this social media age that we're in, I, I flipping sound like a computer science teacher. Which, what the heck is social media age? But anywho, let's just move with it. I've said it, I've said it, let's move. Anywho, but as I was saying, yeah, I feel like this social media age, it has people setting unrealistic expectations for other people. I feel some people set some very high expectations because that's what they see oh, all these people screaming about us. They're like, oh, yes, I got this. Ooh, Yes, but you got me this. Ooh. And it's like very the fact that they brought it to social media must be something big and you know, top class, top tier thing, you get me. And that's that's that that's what they they bring to it. And because so many people are seeing that it's like now all of a sudden everybody has such high expectations that well, if somebody cannot give me this, I don't want if somebody cannot give me this, this person's a bum. And I don't even want to say provide because I don't want people saying that oh yeah, that people need other people to provide for them. That's not what I'm on. That's not what I'm trying to insinuate here. But I do feel some people have a very, very unrealistic expectations for other people because I feel there is certain ages here, like the ages that I'm at and people that are in school, that it is very, very normal for a wide majority of us not to be able to afford the most expensive stuff. I can't even just say the most expensive stuff out there yet, but to, to not be living like exuberant lifestyles. Because at the end of the day, when you're in school, when you're at these ages that we're at, majority of the people I'm talking about are those that are in school, at least from undergraduate down. Like, bro, there's only so many hours you can work. There's only so many jobs you can get. There's only so much you can do. For me personally, I don't think at the ages we're at, me, 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 I say me again. I don't think the ages we're at here, you should expect something from anybody that you cannot provide for yourself. For me, if you cannot provide yourself a Bugatti, do not expect me to give you a Bugatti. If you cannot provide yourself a Birkin, don't expect me to give you a Birkin. That is the way I see it. Because, brr, unless you want to be the first lady of a trap house, or you're comfortable with somebody spending their parents' money on you, I feel it is very, very, very normal for people to be living limited lifestyles at the moment, at the ages where the those that can afford it are, are going to be a minority because majority of us there's a structure to life. We are going, we are going to school. That is where our head is at, and that's another thing. Think people here, yeah, they just expect oh everybody they just get to I don't even know how it. Fit. 16 years old and blah, blah, money is just flowing this is that everybody's mind is just on getting money blah, blah. fam some people their mind is on going to school some people that is what their dreams and aspirations are is to go to school get a white college job and I, I feel people need to respect that 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 is what some people's journey is and you know thank god society is more and more acceptable of people going through different paths now and that is calm but we need to remember yeah not everybody is on the same path over here I, all i can do is talk from my point of view i keep saying me but the things that I've not, I've not really experienced this thing of somebody being unrealistic to me but i'm just saying i'm just putting myself in in this shoes so i can relate more i think i sound very stingy and i think that's what people are going to say raw you sound very stingy so i'm my friend about this thing and the person's like raw but that what is you people's problem like people desire what they desire but the problem here is that it's becoming a general desire and i don't even think that people's desires are genuine that's the way i see it. i think some people have these desires because others have these desires and they seem to be happy with these desires. So it's like, oh, if they're happy with it, it must be making everybody happy. And it must be the standard. If that person not even provided for me, then there's an issue. And I just think that we need to sometimes draw it back a bit and understand the individuals that somebody is interacting with. The thing is that, yes, there's some people that are fortunate enough to be able to provide certain lavish things from young and older ones. Like, that's calm. But don't think that are uh, those that cannot do it. There's something wrong with them. There, there will be an age, yes, there's something wrong with you because, okay, what, what are you waiting for again? There, there will be an age where that will be the question, what, what actually is going on? I do feel there is an age where, you know, there is still a lot of other things we're concentrating on besides making money. Like, yes, we're making money, but at the end of the day, there are ages where that is not a priority. Like, what the actual heck? You people want someone to be 16 years out of the womb 
and their heads, all their head will be at is this. How am I going to be able to do this? How am I going to be able to make this amount of money? Are you actually hearing yourself? Somebody will have eight years of life and fam. So it's safe example from 16 now, this person will be able to be living off of themselves because of society said that, well, from 16, if I'm not living off of myself, then I'm a bum. You guys need to say, yeah, this person will be living off of themselves for 64 years. Isn't that punishment? Are you flipping mad? I think it puts pressure on those that are requesting these things to because they're feeling inferior that why, why, why am I with somebody that cannot provide these things and also it's putting pressure on those that is expected of them to provide these things because it's like rah I should be able to do this but in all honesty to me it's okay if you cannot do it it's okay to dream let us keep having our expectations you know because at the end of the day I cannot tell anybody what they should want it's really everybody's life is their life that's their business me my own I've spoken my own really that's that